Hi there, in this video we're going to go through indices. So first of all, let's go through the basics. Suppose we have this term, okay? So in this term we call x the base and a is regarded as the power or the index, okay? Now let's go through the rules for indices. So in this case, let's go through the first rule of multiplication. So whenever we multiply uh, two terms with the same base, we add the powers, okay? So that is the rule in words. So mathematically, we would say that if we have two terms, x to the a multiplied by x to the b, okay? So in this case, both of these terms have the same base and the base is x, okay? So when multiplying, we add the powers to give us x to the power a plus b, okay? So whenever we uh, multiply two terms with the same base, all we do is add the powers. So let's take this example. So example one, simplify the following. 2x to the power 2, y to the power 2, z to the power minus 5, uh, multiplied by 3x to the power minus 1, y to the power 2, z to the power 3. So let's see how this example is done using the rule of multiplication. So back to the paper and pen. So here's the, here's the example. So let's have a look. So first, let me multiply the numbers together. So 2 multiplied by 3 gives us 6, okay? And let me multiply uh, the terms with x. So I have terms with the same base x. So when I multiply, we're adding the powers. So x to the power 2 times x to the power minus 1 is x to the power 2 plus minus 1, which is x to the power 1. Okay, let's multiply the y terms together. So again, I have two terms with the same base and the base is y. So when I multiply, y to the power two times y to the power two is y to the power two plus two, which is y to the power four. And finally, let's concentrate with the z terms. So again, these z terms have the same base. So when I multiply, I'll get z to the power minus 5 plus 3, which is minus 2. Okay, so that should be the solution to example 1. Here's the next example. So example number 2, 4x to the power minus 1, y to the power 3, z to the power minus 6, multiplied by 3x to the power minus 2, y to the power 4, z to the power minus 1. So again, we're multiplying. So let's focus on the numbers first of all. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. Now let's turn our focus to the x terms. So I have two terms uh, involving x with the same base. So x to the power minus 1 times x to the power minus 2 that is x to the power minus 1 plus minus 2, which is x to the power minus 3. So remember, add to the powers. Now let's concentrate on the y terms. y to the power 3 times y to the power 4 is y to the power 3 plus 4, since we're multiplying, which is y to the power 7. And finally, for the z terms, z to the minus 6 times z to the minus 1 is z to the power minus 6 plus minus 1, which is z to the power minus 7. And how about one more? So 3x to the power minus 5, y to the power 2, z to the power minus 1, times 2x to the power 5, y to the power minus 3, z to the power minus 5. So again, let's multiply the numbers. 3 times 2 gives us 6. Okay, how about the x terms? x to the power minus 5 times x to the power 5 is the same as x to the power minus 5 plus 5, which is x to the power 0. Okay, 
and as for the y terms y to the power 2 times y to the power minus 3 that is the same as y to the power 2 plus minus 3 which is y to the minus 1 and last but not least the z terms z to the minus 1 times z to the power minus 5 that is z to the minus 1 plus minus 5 which is z to the minus 6 okay so as x to the power 0 is 1 so any base to the 0 is 1 so we'll have 6 y to the minus 1 z to the minus 6 so that should be the answer to example 3 right so that deals with multiplication so let's go back to the screenshot and let's deal with division for division whenever we divide two terms with the same base we subtract the powers okay so that is the rule in words so mathematically we would say x to the power a divided by x to the power b so these two terms have the same base and the base being x so whenever we divide we subtract the powers so we'll get x to the power a minus b okay so let's see this rule uh, in action with an example so here's example two simplify the following so we have 4x to the power 3 y to the power 6 z to the power minus 2 divided by 2x to the power minus 2 y to the power 1 z to the power minus 3 okay so back to the paper and pen so let's see how this is done so first let's divide the numbers so 4 divided by 2 is 2 okay and let's concentrate on x so these two terms have the same base and the base being x so whenever we divide we subtract powers so it's top power minus bottom power so in this case we'll have x to the power top power is 3 so it's 3 minus minus 2 the bottom power so 3 minus minus 2 is 5 okay as for the y terms so these two terms have the same base y so whenever we divide we subtract powers so y to the power 6 divided by y to the power 1 is y to the power top power 6 minus bottom power 1 so 6 minus 1 is y to the power 5 and last but not least the z terms so in this case we have the same base of z so subtract the powers so top power minus 2 minus bottom power minus 3 minus 2 minus minus 3 is z to the power 1 so that should be the solution to uh, example 2 here's the next example so 3x to the power minus 1 y to the power minus 2 z to the power 1 divided by 2x to the power 5 y to the power minus 5 z to the power 2 So let's, uh, let's go over this example. So I can't simplify the numbers 3 over 2. So let me keep the 3 over 2 as is. So let's divide these terms, these uh, terms involving x. So x to the power minus 1 divided by x to the power 5. So since we're dividing two terms with the same base, remember, subtract the powers. So we're going to get x to the power minus 1 minus 5 which is minus 6 okay so x to the minus 6 now for the y terms y to the power minus 2 divided by y to the power minus 5 that is y to the power minus 2 minus of minus 5 which is y to the power plus 3 and last but not least the z terms z to the power 1 divided by z to the power 2 so again these two terms with z have the same base so subtract the powers 1 minus 2 minus 1 so this should be the solution to example 3 so back to the screenshot so we have some results uh, involving indices so the first result is 
x to the power minus n, and that is the same as 1 over x to the power n. Okay? So, in this case, uh, let's go back to the papering pen. See this rule in action. So, in this case, uh, x to the power minus n, that is the same as 1 over x to the power n. So let me take some examples to show you how this rule works. So for example one, if I have uh, two to the power minus one for example, two to the power minus one according to this result is the same as one over two to the power plus one, which is the same as one over two. So let's take uh, another example. So for example, uh, four over nine to the power minus two. So four over nine to the power minus two. So according to this rule over here, that is the same as one divided by four over nine to the power plus two, okay? So we can simplify this even further to give us one over 4 over 9 to the power plus 2, so we can apply this to, uh, this power 2 to both the numerator and the denominator to give us 1 over 4 squared over 9 squared, okay? And let's simplify further, 4 squared gives us 16 over 9 squared gives us 81, okay? And this is the same as 81 over 16. Okay, so that should be the solution to part B. Let's have another example, so a part C. Okay, so in this case, if we have um, 1 over 3 to the power minus 3, So 1 over 3 to the power minus 3, that is the same as 1 over 1 over 3 to the power plus 3, according to this result. And I can simplify this as 1 over, so I can apply this power 3 again to the numerator <coughs> and denominator. So to give us 1 to the power 3 over 3 to the power 3. So this can be simplified further. One to the power three is one. Three to the power three is 27. And one over, one over 27, that's the same as 27. So here's example one, eight to the power one over three. Okay, so in this case, uh, we can try and simplify 8 to the power 1 over 3. So let's make 8, so let's try and make 8 a term to the power 3. So if we can make 8 a term to the power of this number, which is 3, I can then cancel the 3s to give me my overall answer. Okay, so the idea is try and make this base term of 8 a term to the power of this term in the denominator of your power. Okay. So 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3, okay? So it's 2 to the power 3, and don't forget the 1 over 3 power, okay? And by, by making 8 2 to the power 3, okay, or 2 to the power of this term in the denominator, I can then cancel these two 3s to give me an overall answer of 2, okay? So, likewise, using the same concept for example 2, 64 to the power 1 over 3. Okay, try to see whether you can make the base of 64 a term to the power of this term in the denominator 3. Okay, 
So by making 64 a term to the power of the term appearing in your denominator power 3, you can then cancel those 3's uh, with regard to the power. So 64 is the same as 4 to the power 3, as 4 cubed gives us 64, multiplied by the 1 over 3 power here. And by doing this, I can cancel these two 3's, giving us 4 to the power 1, which is 4. Now, for example, 3, I have 1 and 7 ninths to the power of half. So 1 and 7 ninths. So we can change this into an improper fraction. So let's change it into an improper fraction. So to change it into an improper fraction, you can multiply the 9 by the 1 and then add the 7 to find the numerator term. So to find the numerator term, 9 times 1 is 9. Then 9 plus the 7 gives us 16. Okay, divided by 9 in this case. Okay, so once again to find this numerator term of your improper fraction, multiply 9 by 1 and then add that result to 7. Okay, to give you that 16. So that to the power of half. Okay. And 16 over 9 to the power half, so you can apply the half power to both the numerator and the denominator. So this is the same as 16 to the power half over 9 to the power half. Okay. So further to that, so using the same concept that I've applied earlier, we can try and make 16, the base of 16, a term to the power of 2. And by doing that, we can cancel the 2's with regard to the power. And likewise, we can make 9 a term to the power of this uh, term here in the denominator 2. And by doing that, using the con same concept as earlier, we can cancel the 2's with regard to the power. So 16 is 4 to the power 2 multiplied by this half power. Okay, divided by and 9, 9 is the same as 3 to the power 2 multiplied by this half power. Okay, by doing this you can cancel the two 2's with regards to the powers to give us 4 to the power 1 which is 4 divided by 3 to the power 1 which is 3. So the answer is 4 over 3. If we have 64 to the power 2 over 3. So here's a term in the form of x to the power m over n. Okay. So we can simplify this uh, using a rule or using the same concept as I applied earlier. So we can try and make 64. Okay. So we can make 64 um, a base to the power of this denominator term with. Uh, in this power which is 3 so I can make 64 a term to the power of 3 64 is the same as 4 to the power 3 multiplied by the power 2 over 3 okay and by doing this I can cancel these two 3's to give us 4 squared or 4 to the power 2 and 4 to the power 2 is 16 So here's another example, 8 to the power 2 over 3. So using the same concept as earlier, I can try and make 8 a term to the power of 3 here. So in this case, 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3, multiplied by this 2 over 3 power. And by doing this, I can cancel these two 3s to give us 2 to the power 2 being 4. So that completes uh, that example and that also uh, ends the video. So I hope you found this video helpful on indices. Okay, there is another part to this video. So stay tuned for the next part. Uh, try more practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.